So hi, YouTube. Hi, Facebook. Hi, world. Uh, as we close out H2 on Monday on this Juneteenth. Oh, I do want to say that in June 2020, on this day, I actually got one of the most biggest checks I've ever got that I'm still living off of. And I think I give honor to our ancestors to tell us that we can come from nothing. You can start with nothing. And out of nothing and out of no way, a way will be made. So anybody of any race, of any creed, listen to the people that started with zero and climbed up and did it the right way rather than people that took it from other people and enslaved other people and try to empower other people because power um, given away to someone else, um, control is an illusion. Nobody really has control. The planet has control. And if you impart into the environmental, natural laws, fundamental truths, you will see that play out in your life. So I'll close with um, June 19th, Ritual Living, for those that are watching. And I'll put this one on YouTube that I'm recording with Zoom. I no longer indulge in negative. And Emerson, one of my favorites, we lie open on one side to the deep of spiritual nature, to the attributes of God, just as we see and know love, freedom, and power. And when I say Lord, you can say law, natural truths, and I will try to correct it. And if I say God and that word, the same, you say law, natural truths. The spirit of the Lord is within me. And every time I say I, take that I for yourself and we for us with the planet. We're all on the same planet. If we blow it up, we all get blown up. If we love it, we all get loved. So the spirit of the Lord or the law is within me. It's within you. I am resolved to live positively. The Bible, which is means books, every book matters if it's got a message of positive in it. The Bible states that man is the image of a perfect God, a perfect law, a perfect being. We're all imperfectly perfect with every mistake that we make. Therefore, I must live to the potential of perfection, and this perfection must be positive. I now align myself with the positive side of life. It is divinely natural to be positive, opt optimistic, and expecting of good. These are the basis of all healing. For all thy ways of God work through me, through you. If God, law, natural laws, fundamental truth, whatever word eases you, if law is my life, then I should express health. If law is my supply, then I should express abundance and freedom and finance. I have faith that these ideas are true and that they now act for me. No one causes me to worry. Nothing causes me to fear. All evil is wrong and self-indulgent. As an individualized center of divine operation, I can no longer afford the luxury of fear and worry. I refuse to pay their price for God's free faith is mine to use without cost. It offers itself to me without scent and I accept it with joy. I know that my right thinking controls my destiny. I know that the key to all experiences is in my own consciousness. I set my thinking on truth and I do not waver from a single moment. I am steadfast in my loyalty to him, law, if you want to call it. I made it and, and who, who made it himself or itself. God, law, whatever we want to call it, loves a positive person. For then all mind has free outlet to its ideas. Knowing this, I become the person God loves and all right action uses me as a center of distribution. To me comes a holy purpose and from me flows a healing power. I heal myself and others I think health and active health, and I speak health at all times. 
I am no longer sick, tired, or worn out. God in me is positive life, health, and vitality. I radiate the positive and I rejoice in the power of right thinking. My whole experience is now in change into greater good and my thinking expands it forevermore. I dedicate my mind to his, it, law, and I rejoice in the positive results. So go out in the world and make a difference. Like Rosalind said, there is spirit in the world. We want to do more positive things with our youth because a healthy youth makes a healthy, a healthy adult. So anything you've been stuck in with your youth that you have not resolved, um, seek happiness, spiritual mind treatment, conscious conversations at the academy is here for you for that. Find a friend for it. Mental wellness is how we get happiness in the world. I look forward to seeing you next week. I hope you enjoy this beautiful weekend, this um, Juneteenth Monday, Father's Day weekend wake, and that you celebrate the Father, Mother, God, with all the power that's in you. Have a wonderful day to you. Bye, Facebook. Bye, YouTube. Bye, Zoom.